Hey guys, welcome to Funny Gun. In this particular video, we're going to be going over another pretty cool gun here I have in my collection. This is a Chiapa Rhino 60DS. It's the Charging Rhino version. This is the Gen 2. I'm going to go ahead and show you this particular gun is unloaded before we get too far into this. And what makes this the Charging Rhino? What is the Charging Rhino? The Charging Rhino is the competition oriented version of the Rhino revolver. And what makes it the Charging Rhino is, is it's a double action only. There's no single action spur. You got a little spring loaded plug here to replace the spur. You get a fully adjustable set of fiber optic sights on this particular version of the gun. And what really sets this apart from the Gen 1 version of the Charging Rhino to this one is the fully adjustable trigger setup that allows you to adjust this for your primers so you don't have light primer strike issues as you can read about that they had with the original version that allows you to fix that, which I will say that that does work because when I first got this gun, it did have some light primer strike issues and I actually sent it back to them and let them readjust it. And it's been 100% ever since then. And I will say the only thing, the negative to that is, is the trigger was about a, probably a nine and a half to 10 pound pull before. And I'd say now it's probably more of 11 to 12. It's a pretty smooth double action. So it's not that noticeable. It's just, that was something I noticed when I got it back, but not being something I'm going to use in competition, mainly just a range toy. I wanted to be 100% reliable so I can live with that. And uh, well, that being said, also I didn't say this particular version of the gun is a nine millimeter and it requires moon clips. And I'm that's going to go ahead and show you the one accessory I do recommend for this is the B&T Mooner. You can get this from B&T Equipment. It's not actually on their website, I will say but you can get it. I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description where I found where you can get it from. The guy actually, I hit them up on their website and asked them about it. And he sent me the link and told me that they hadn't actually put it on the website yet, but they do make one. So here it is, obviously. It's got two magnets right here and it's keyed in the middle. So when you put your moon clip on there, it stays in place. You go ahead and turn it over. I'll show you how this works real quick. And you stick it in there and you just twist it. You gotta have it at the right angle or your rounds will flip down sideways. With that being said, right there it is, ready to go. And then to demoon it, you just turn it over and spin it the other direction and uh, all your empty cases will come right back out of it. But with that being said, I'll, like I said, I'll throw a just link to that in the description, but let's go ahead and put some dummy rounds in the gun and I'll show you the trigger. Now, like I said, it's a double action only trigger. It's got a little bit of play in it right there before you get to the beginning of the cycle. And after that, it's just a smooth cycle all the way back to the brake and it hits the uh, the trigger stop in the back of the sill or the frame there. And this is actually the only double action only revolver I've got. Took a little getting used to for me, but this thing's actually quite a bit of fun after you play with it for a little bit. And we'll go ahead and show you a little bit of me shooting it here. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and shoot this uh, rhino a little bit, show you a little bit more of it. I ain't gonna shoot a whole lot, keep the video pretty short, but definitely a cool gun. And if you hadn't ever messed with anything with moon clips, it's the first gun I've ever had with moon clips, and it's quite a bit of fun, I'm not gonna lie. But that's all I have for you today, so thanks for watching.